Hey Miami Lakers, welcome to our daily COVID-19 update. Uh, we have a special guest with us that Councilman Luis Corrazzo is going to be introducing to you all as part of his series that he started called uh, Mental Health Thursday here in our community. It's been very popular because we know we want to talk to our folks out there, our residents that have these uh, types of discussions and breaking through that stigma uh, that is so, so important here in our community. But I'm also joined by our town manager, Ed Peterman, and we have Councilman Collazo, and in a second, he'll introduce his special guest today. But bienvenido el reciente en nuestra comunidad. Hoy es el miércoles, el jueves, de la salud mental aquí en nuestra comunidad. Y, to, y tenemos el concejal Luis Collazo con nosotros, que empezó eh, los jueves de la salud mental aquí en, en la comunidad. Y también tenemos un administrador y un, eh, una persona bien especial aquí en nuestra comunidad que va a hablar con ustedes, que el concejal Collazo eh, les va a introducir ahora en unos minuticos. Eh, Mr. Manager, with the daily update. Yeah, I got uh, more good news. The number of positive cases in the town of Miami Lakes is still sitting at 43. So that's the sixth straight day without a new case in our town. It actually is now 13 days that all we've had are two new cases in the last almost two weeks. So it's great news. And once again, it's a result of all the hard work and all the dedication to observing and paying attention and working hard and paying attention to the medical uh, guidance. So that's great news. Quería avisarle a todo que hoy el número de casos confirmados positivos en la ciudad de Miami Lakes sigue siendo 43. El sexto día seguido sin un caso nuevo. Eso es buenísima noticia. Eh, solamente hemos tenido dos casos en casi las últimas dos semanas. Solamente dos casos nuevos. Qué eh, increíble. Eh, le quería avisar y recordar que ayer se inició la reapertura de los parques de nosotros en un limitado, right? So, eh, están abiertos otra vez para, para cosas casual, para eh, como caminar y correr, pero no van a ver la, los juegos de competencia, los juegos de pelota, etc. Eso todavía será en otra fase. I wanted to remind everybody that yesterday was the limited reopening of the park system, right? We have our three main parks, Picnic Park West, Miami Lakes Optimus, and Royal Oaks that are, uh, opened up for casual play. Thank you, Mr. Manager, and I'm gonna hand it over to uh, Councilman Collazo uh, for uh, Mental Health Thursdays, and it's been so important. We've seen incredible feedback on this, so welcome, Councilman, and thank you again for, uh, for getting this done. Thank you, Mayor, and thank you, Mr. Manager. And yes, we are on the cusp of very good news, and as we slowly start seeing things get back to, to our new normal, it's important to continue to reemphasize that that comes with other challenges. And one of the things that we've committed to you, as the Mayor said, is constantly focusing not just on our physical well-being as COVID-19 uh, affects us all in, in, in that regard, but also our mental health. And today I'm very happy to have another Miami Lakes provider that's here to offer services. Uh, I'd like to introduce Lindsay. Uh, she's here with the Community Mental Health Center. Her Community Mental Health Center specializes in a variety of services, but in particular she serves people um, that, that are older in age. Eh, como dijo el alcalde, hoy estamos aquí hablando de la salud mental. Sabemos que en esta nueva etapa de, de, de nuestra vida, con todos estos cambios, no es, es, solamente, es, es muy importante so, eh, enfocarnos no solamente en la salud de nosotros, pero en la salud mental. Y hoy estoy aquí para presentar uno de los proveedores que nos está ayudando en esos esfuerzos, Lindsay, de un centro de la salud comunitaria. Lindsay. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for having me. Thank you for everything that Miami Lakes is doing, especially emphasizing mental health. Uh, we, this is a historical time and it's, it's great that this is helping remove the stigmas associated with mental health. It's bringing up the topic of discussion. And like uh, Councilman Lewis mentioned, we do have a wide variety of services. So <laughs> I'm getting used to the mask. And, but our main focus is the elderly community. And our center right now is focusing on what is gonna be our new normal after this. As we're slowly transitioning into opening up, we want to emphasize, we wanna provide resources, we wanna educate our community, and we want to provide innovative ways to provide these services. I don't think we're going to see this, you know, the, how we were dealing with mental health previously. That's not how we're going to be able to do it moving forward. And so our center is looking at innovative ways to do this, whether it is collaborating with other organizations, coming to you, uh, coming to the other centers to be able to, to reach the whole, all, the, all the community members. And like 
Councilman said we do emphasize in our senior community, so we are here to provide any sort of services. We service people, um, you know, from children from five all the way, you know, all the way to adults. So thank you very much for having us here. The name of my center is Meraki Wellness and Healing. Um, I'm going to be putting in the information down in the comments box. Where my, my team is on there as well, so they'll be providing our phone number and our address and all of our contact details if anybody needs any services. Lindsay, how can they get in touch with you? If somebody's watching right now and needs to, to talk to somebody, how can they get in touch with Absolutely. you? Absolutely. You guys can reach us at 786-536-4420. We are on social media. You can find us through Facebook, through Instagram, Twitter. We're, we're pretty much everywhere and accessible. You can just reach out, send us an email, info at MeraukeeWellnessHealing.com. And again, one of my team members will be providing that you know, on the comments box for anybody who might need that information. Thank you, Mayor, and thank you, Lindsay, so much for the opportunity to continue serving our community and making sure that Miami Lakes is focused not just on our physical health, well-being, but on our mental health as well. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Councilman Coyazo, and, and I know I put you on the spot last time, I put you on the spot again. Do you want to talk about, you, you had said, a, the first time we had a, a Mental Health Thursday, you had a very powerful statement talking about uh, COVID-19. You, you want to repeat that? The one where you say it, it is okay, you know. It's perfectly normal uh, to experience anxiety. It's perfectly normal to go through uh, this experience and not necessarily know and understand what tomorrow brings. We're all experiencing that in the very same way. Uh, some people have found positive ways in dealing with that. Sometimes we see that uh, outside in our community. We see people riding bike and, and dealing with stress in, in a very positive way. But some people deal with stress in a negative way and, and, and turn to, to other things that are not uh, healthy. So we want to make sure that as we're all experiencing this together, as we're all going through this new normal and this new experience uh, as, as we continue trying to normalize our lives, I think it's important to, to continue to focus on mental health and to continue to focus on positive ways of dealing with this and having opportunities, whether it's through interactions with each other or interactions with professionals, uh, having the opportunity to, to uh, deal with this in a positive manner. And I'm just happy to be a small part of that and, and bringing these services to, uh, that are here already in our community, they were here before, just making sure that they're, they're relevant now more than ever. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Lindsay, and thank you, Councilman Coyazo. You know, if you need any services, uh, you heard it, Lindsay is here, her team's here, they're available. Uh, if you just wanna talk, you know, they're here. Councilman Coyazo's always made himself available also. So. Reach out to them. These are very important times that we come together, we unite, and we help out uh, folks that might need a little bit more help. I just want to make a, a mention. I was reading some of the, the stats today, and, and I know the manager always talks about uh, the infection rate, which is, which is very, very important. But another stat that's really important is the hospitalization rate. And here in Dade County, we've seen that, uh, to a certain extent, stay flat, which is, which is great, great, great news. You're starting to see uh, the field hospitals that were built. Those never went uh, to any use, which is great news. They were ready. Um, but you're, you're starting to see the hospitalization rate really stay flat, which is another key marker in, uh, in defeating COVID-19. Uh, so I'll start reading off some of the, uh, see if any questions are on here. Uh, Miami Lakers, submit them, let us know. Uh, all right, Nancy, that's actually Mama Nance, uh, Councilman. Uh, Mama Nance, uh, she's the, also a, a great friend of ours, somebody who we love dearly here in our community, but also the chair of our public safety committee. Uh, she wants to know, uh, please advise for the rules for Monday's opening of Town Hall. Uh, la Señora Nancy, eh, que es una amiga de los otros, una gran amiga aquí, es la chairman del comité de, de, la, de public safety aquí en nuestra comunidad, quiere saber eh, qué va a ser las regulaciones para la reapertura del ajuntamiento aquí en Miami Lakes, que abrimos el lunes. Yeah, as we, uh, we spoke about this a couple of days ago, is that the front doors to Town Hall will once again be open starting on Monday. The, we are still encouraging any business with the town that can be done remotely, electronically, via the telephone, an email, the town app, all of that should continue to be done that way. We want to uh, prohibit, really, or dramatically limit any unnecessary contact from people outside of the uh, town staff coming into Town Hall and that's for their protection as well as the protection of, uh, of our staff. So the doors are gonna be unlocked, you'll be able to come in, but if you don't have uh, business in town hall, 
uh, that's, uh, that's necessary to come in person, then we're gonna ask you to continue doing what we've done. And uh, our town staff has been remarkable. They've been able to continue serving the needs of our residents over the last uh, month and a half or two months. And they've done it from their homes. They've done it by a computer. They've uh, done it by, over the phone. They've really been incredible. They've done a yeoman's job of making sure that everybody's needs are met. Eh, señor administrador, cuando abren la puerta el lunes en el ayuntamiento, ¿qué son las regulaciones para si los residentes quieren entrar? Tienen preguntas sobre la renta de un pavilion en nuestro parque, tienen que ir al, al building department, no sé, tiene que hablar alguien con court enforcement, ¿qué, qué tienen que hacer? Sí, la, las puertas del town hall, del ayuntamiento, eh, van a estar abiertas empezando el lunes, pero seguimos con el esfuerzo de tratar de hacer todo lo posible, todo lo que se puede solucionar o negociar a través del teléfono, a través de la internet, a través de email, todo lo que se pueda hacer electrónicamente, seguimos eh, queriendo que se haga así. Eh, cualquier tipo de negocio que no es necesario venir en persona, lo queremos seguir haciendo así por el, el bienestar de la persona, del visitante a Town Hall, igual que la de los empleados aquí de, de la ciudad de Miami Lakes. Thank you, Miami Lakers. I don't see... If you do have questions, submit them. Si tienen más preguntas, pónganlo ahí en, en la parte donde pueden comentar. Eh, but if not, as you can hear, look, we're moving forward. Our parks reopened yesterday. Obviously, there's some rules. Our tall lots are still closed. That was a decision made by, by the county, not us. I mean, uh, that's, how, that's how our form of government uh, works. City Hall is reopening on Monday. Uh, hopefully, we start getting the rules to start getting uh, people back to work, which is so, so important. Uh, but since I don't see any other question stuff, we're going to go around one more time just in closing. We'll to, uh, Lindsay, if you want to say some words, and we'll go to Councilman Coyazo. No, just thank you so much again for having me here. And I just want to reinforce what uh, Councilman Lewis said. It's, it's okay to not be okay, pretty much, at this time. So we're here to provide any services, and you do have support. There's a lot of other providers in the area, you know, amongst Rocky, and we're all here to provide the services that our community really needs at this time. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Lindsay. Uh, thank you, Mayor, Mr. Manager. I do want to add one final announcement um, just to make sure that everybody's getting the information correctly. Royal Oaks will not be distributing food tomorrow. There will not be a food distribution at Royal Oaks tomorrow, but there will be Miami Lakes Methodist United Church will have a food distribution, I believe, starting at 9 a.m. on Saturday. Uh, and we're waiting final confirmation from Feeding South Florida to see if Royal Oaks will be a, a distribution site for next Friday. So I think we have managed to give me a thumbs up. Yes, we are definitely a go for Royal Oaks next Friday. So I'll May, be sending, May the 8th. May the 8th. I'll be sending out an email to remind everybody. And thank you, Miami Lakers. Continue to be well, continue to be safe, and let's continue to bring good news forward. Thank you. Yeah, I just want to finish today on a positive note. I want to congratulate all uh, Miami Lakers for the hard work that you've done. Because the only reason in Miami Lakes that we've been able to flatten our curve, I'm not talking about the Dade County curve, I'm not talking about the state of Florida curve or the US curve, I'm talking about the Miami Lakes curve. It's that Miami Lakers have gone above and beyond to making sure that we're all taking care of ourselves, our families, and our neighbors. So you've done an incredible job, congratulations, and it's the only reason why we've been as successful as we have been in flattening the Miami Lakes curve. Thank you, Mr. Manager. That's definitely great news. Reach out to us, 305-364-6100. There's incredible organizations, uh, like you heard today from Lindsay. Uh, her, th they're, they're ready to help us out here in our community. They're ready to help you out if you need any help. Uh, Council McCoyazo and the entire team is, is there to help you all. So give them a call. Reach out to them. Their number's right on, on there. Uh, Council McCoyazo, you want to share your email address or your uh, cell phone, your, uh, your town I'm, cell phone? I'm, I'm available by, by text or by cell at 305-733-5199. Uh, feel free to call me for, for any matters, whether related to mental health or anything regarding the town. But thank you again, man. Reach out to us. We'll be back live tomorrow afternoon. We are here for you, and together we will get through this. God bless you, Miami Lakers.